We're at the Consumer Electronics Show 2013. This is Robert Scoble. We're seeing two special companies that are bringing the future of 3D uh, sensing to us. And we're going to talk a lot about what that means, what it would let you do if you had a few of these sensors in your life, in your car, in your kitchen, on your desk at work, in your cell phone maybe, and maybe your tablet PC and whatnot. This is the company, Prime Sense is the company that makes the Xbox Connect sensor. So they are the number one 3D sensing sensor company, and we're going to talk to them right now. Well, who are you? <laughs> hey, Robert, I'm, I'm Yeni Vakrat uh, from Prime Sense. Uh, I run sales uh, and business development. Very cool. So we're here at Prime Sense. We're gonna Yanov is gonna give us several demos of what you could do with a 3D sensor. Is that what you call them? A 3D sensor? 3D sensors, exactly right. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the mic over and I, just show me through what some of the things that you can do with this. Sounds good. Okay. So um, what we have here, the first demonstration, is uh, is essentially an interactive surface. What you see here is this is just a simple table and. Uh, you know, using our sensor and using a very simple projector, we've turned it into an interactive surface. So um, I'll start with something very simple, which is uh, painting. So let's clear the table and let's start painting. Okay. Now notice that if I actually push hard versus if I push a little lighter, you know, the size of the line actually changes. So it's so accurate that it recognizes how far I am and how deep I am into the surface when I actually, uh, you know, do these uh, do these things. The other interesting things is that um, the sensor actually recognizes objects that we put on the surface, and I can start actually playing with the objects, and they can react to what's happening on the scene. So what you can see here is I'm throwing some balls at the uh, at the objects, and they actually are <laughs> reflecting back with acceleration and deceleration, etc. Uh, and if I change the object, it'll actually track it and continue to do the same. So you can think about tremendous amount of flexibility that a game developer or an, an interactive, a interactive uh, designer could have with some of these things. Um, let's see some other stuff. Um, you can actually use an interactive surface to uh, actually simulate a uh, set of buttons here. So you can think about uh, playing piano or doing something like that. Um, you can actually use it for keyboard, uh, and the nice thing is that there's actually multi-touch here, so I can I can literally do all sorts of uh, all sorts of things. I can I can even use more fingers than two. I can use ten fingers if I wanted to, because uh, this is one sensor that captures the entire environment and it, and and uh, have a lot of flexibility with it. Um, in terms of images, if I were to actually play around with a set of images, so you can do all the normal stuff, which is, you know, resizing, changing the location of the image, throwing it out if you don't want it, uh, grabbing another one, and, and doing all sorts of things with images. Um, here's another thing, another cool use of uh, the three-dimensional aspects of the sensor. What you can see here is that if I actually go up, uh, it'll actually be the those cubes will be attracted to my hand higher than when I'm kind of lower here. So, so again, a use of the three-dimensional aspects of the sensor. It's not just a two-dimensional surface, but really has some cool features to it. What is actually in the sensor, and what is it actually looking at? Because it's building a 3D mesh of this area, of right? This area. Correct. Exactly. So explain what the sensor does to okay. a normal person. To a normal person. Okay. So the sensor essentially understands the surrounding or the, the scene that it's looking at in three dimensions. So as opposed to a regular camera, which d just has an X and Y, this has an X, Y, and Z. So it understands essentially the third dimension. And we then take all that wonderful information. There's a lot of information to process because you know how much uh, a regular image is or regular video is in two dimensional. Think about if you actually had to capture three dimensions, tons of information. We take that, we process that in our, in our own proprietary chip and we then make use of that information, move it to a client or a host, and then basically write an app. So there's probably two sensors here, one for photo and one for uh, For the laser. depth, for the, oh, for the depth, so right. So is that a laser that does the depth? It's a, it's a near IR uh, laser, yeah. It's a near IR sensor, and essentially that's, the, that's what's used for the three dimension, for, for the 3D, and then a regular imager for the, for the 2D. So everything that has to do with color would be 2D, all the depth 
is a 3D sensor. So two sensors in one. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. This one is really cool. Um, it's uh, we've basically turning retail shelves and retail uh, uh, shelf space into an interactive uh, environment. Uh, what you can see here, uh, there's a sensor here above me, and it recognizes exactly what I'm doing and the way I'm interacting with uh, those cereal boxes. Okay, and the nice thing about it is that we're using the three dimensions here to understand exactly which shelf I'm interacting with. So if I go to the to the middle shelf here and I grab a Fruit Loom. Um, cereal you can see that uh, there's an event here that was created that um, you know this shopper took that box if I put it back the box will be actually returned so you can see here I don't know if you can see it but uh, it says here that there's a new event and the box was returned okay uh, it understands exactly all the inventory on the shelves and the cool things that you can do with it are endless okay so if you grab an Apple Jacks and you take it uh, you might actually propose to the shopper that there's a generic right next to it that costs half the price, okay? Uh, and here it is, right here. Uh, you can think about inventory replenishment automatically, where you know you basically take uh, take all these boxes out, and then once uh, every every few uh, uh, you know every few hours, somebody replenishes the inventory automatically. So another another really cool uh, experience, I think, which is very seamless, is that you walk the uh, the, re the the aisles and the and the and the retail shop, and essentially you go and interact with just the box. You just grab the box and see what happens on your tablet or your personal smartphone. You actually got an offer right now for 15% discount on the, on a second unit. Okay. So uh, it doesn't have to be advertising. It can be infor informative. It can be actually something that's value add to you. But um, the, 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 just the fact that uh, the environment is understood and I'm understood and what I'm doing is, is really the cool, the cool thing about this. So the clear, the cre clear application of this thing is um, retail analytics. So the same way we have great analytics today online, you know, Google Analytics and, and et cetera, you can actually then collect all that information of what people are doing in the retail shop and move it to the cloud and, and then uh, do a whole bunch of analysis with it. So you can see here all the charts that you can do. You can see here even, uh, where's the heat map? Can you show the heat map? You can see, see the heat map of what shoppers have been actually approaching on the, on the retail shelves. So very cool stuff. So thanks for uh, giving me a little tour. We saw how the sensors above us are going to stalk us <laughs> as we go through the retail store and yeah. give us offers and stuff like that. Over here we have 3D uh, room building and uh, 3D sensing of rooms and all sorts of fun stuff. It's a crazy world you guys are building. It's gonna, it, I think it's the coolest thing here at CES. So it's, it's an exciting congratulations. world. I, we, we like to think it as an exciting world, not a crazy world, but absolutely. We're very excited about the, what the future holds for this thing. Uh, and thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Very cool. You're on my startup list on Facebook. So uh, Prime Sense is on Facebook. They're on Twitter. They're on the web, right? Awesome. So we, we just are. go to primesense.com. Primesense.com, and you have a wealth of information there. Absolutely. Very cool. We're looking forward to seeing these sensors everywhere over Thank the you. next few years. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Take care. Thank you.